Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mug and Play. I am Nick. Today we're playing more Beyond You and we have to decide if what the what the ever the hell Haruka was talking about last time was weird. We can choose the only thing that's weird is you. What can we do? Or I agree it's weird. You know what? We we got to let's 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 have some fun with this playthrough. Let's let's have it be a little bit more off the walls with our choices than <clears throat> excuse me, usual. I agree it's weird. I agree. It's weird. Finally, you're on my side! It's weird, yes, but I don't think it has to mean anything. Maybe those girls were there when the fire happened, but they survived it. Why would they set fire to a building and stay in it? Even then, only one of them could have been there for it. So, which is it then? I sighed deeply, my hands pressed to my face. I felt like a rat on a wheel, going in the spot non-stop with no real change. Please, let this go. The corner of Haruka's mouth twitched twi tightly. Twitch tight twit tight twit tight. It did stuff. You've been on edge since we met them. There's more to this than just Minami. Just talk to me, please. Haruka worried her thumbnail between her teeth. So to summarize, a few students passed away and one of them survived. And you want to shake it out of them? Who went through that traumatic event? Haruka smacked my arm gently. Her bottom lip pouted out. I wanna ask them personal questions. Let me. When you say it like that, it sounds bad, yeah. I'd feel better to know. Why even hide that? I wouldn't have been so mean to them if I'd known. You could just be nice. Just putting it out there. No one is ever nice to me. Except you. That's because you're nice to me. And if you try the be nice to other people thing, then they will more than likely be nice to you. Just putting it out there. She looked at me with an intense glint in her eye, as if she'd had something else to say. Whatever she had to say, she kept it quiet. Don't worry about it. Maybe spending time with the other girls pushed us apart. Time seems to stop and go all at once, and the bell sounds in the distance. We walk in tandem towards the school. The only thing that remained from our conversation beneath the bleachers was the thoughts running through my head. Well, you are near the track, so things are bound to run. <laughs> Anyway, I was glad to have found Haruka earlier. Gave me a chance to catch up with her before class. Was she? We sat in silence for most of it, but she seemed more at ease now. It wasn't until the bell rang for lunch she seemed to come alive again. She's like, Pfft, just, hi, I just burst out of the floor. And I just wanted to tell you, hello. Anyway, I wish math didn't exist. And she just stares at you like that for like, like 10 seconds. She's like, now you say something. I mean, it doesn't. Or does it? Ugh, don't be a nerd! <laughs> nerd! A lot of people have theorized about whether or not math is real. Don't start! She laughed and shoved me in good nature. Just stop it. No, you stop it. You just, just, just start wailing on each other. I don't know, why am I making them out to be like this? You didn't have to take math, you know. But you were taking it! Mm-hmm, but I enjoy math. You, on the other hand, wish it did not exist. I wanted to be with you. That's sweet, but you shouldn't do stuff just because another person's doing it. It's not much, but I like being in classes with you. Even if you fail them? Especially if I fail them. I don't fail at them, I just don't do so good. Don't do so well. Which is fine! Because I'm with you. She split off her she split off of the track field again, and I let her go. Just Ah go, you weirdo. You coming off as a little codependent, which you should work on. Be an independent lady. I never wanted to crowd her, her demand she stay by my side. She had her own interests and hobbies, and I I had lunch to eat. <laughs> Get your priorities straight, Dandleton. I already ate. One muffin isn't a meal, Kana. Oh, hello, Dandleton. Would you want to join us for lunch? I brought extra, and me usually eats it, but I haven't seen her. In any case, I have food, and it needs to be eaten. With that, Aiko walked over to an empty table to unpack the bento box from her backpack. She pulled out two decent-sized boxes filled with rice balls, dumplings, and an assortment of fish and vegetables. Kana stared at the food, and then at Aiko. Where's the sweets, hmm? 
picked up one in, one of the Inari and stuffed it into her mouth. You get what you get, Kana. I'm surprised you don't have a packed lunch, given... She looked at Kana. I have one, but it's really boring, like all vegetables and... Ugh. She paused to meet my eye. Aiko and I were the weird with rich kids at Minami. Ah, no one else calls us weird called us weirdos. Kana raised an eyebrow at her, her arms crossed on the table in front of her. Maybe not to your face, but they call me a weirdo all the time. Aiko resisted a retort, just barely. She shot a sidelong glance at me, nervous in her place. You volunteered to tutor delinquents in your free time. That's pretty weird. That uh, okay, that's uh, Jumping ahead on the text a little bit, and I don't get excited. And your dad with Mercs works, works with my dad! That's weird! And that makes them weird! And you're the daughter of a weirdo, and that makes you weird. But that makes me weird too. What does that have to do with anything? Kind of shrugged a shoulder, her arms still crossed. People were nice to you for the same reasons they were nice to me. Expensive birthday presents, free lifts home, helicopter rides. She snorted loudly. It's like, yeah, that's right. We had a helicopter at our old house, but we had to sell it. I feel like everyone knew somebody in elementary school who made up some insanely huge lie like that. Like, we had a hell we used to have a helicopter at our old house, but we had to sell it when we moved here. Anyway, my dad works at Nintendo. Like, leave a comment below if you remember the, you know, insanely huge lie that someone in elementary school told you about themselves, if you remember it. I don't know. Let's unpack some shit in the comments, who cares? Free food! Aiko pulled her bentos closer, protectively. Just... No. No free food for you. People were nice to me because I was nice. And people weren't that mean to you, were they? Kinda shot Aiko an incredulous look like, Ugh, I will have you know I was horribly mistreated. One time I said hi to somebody and they didn't say it back. That's weird. Which must mean I'm weird. People were nice to me, barely. I had to be a bitch to get them to respect me, though. People eat you alive if you're nice. She grabbed another Inari, stuffing the whole thing into her mouth. Just ow. I think you can win. <clears throat> I think you can win people over by being nice. Not that you should win people over. It's an expression. She exhaled, looking at me for support. Just ugh. both of them looking at me like Dandelson, help me out here. So people treated you both differently because you were... rich? Minami school wasn't illustrious by any means, it was actually quite... crappy. Aiko shot Kana in an annoyed look, like, Kana? Not crappy, on fire! It was a lower income school. My parents sent me there in lieu of a private school as we had family ties to it. My mother went there and she learned many things within the school. They didn't want me to be spoiled or something like that. They wanted me to get by by my own merit. And I transferred there. I go shot Connor, a concerned look. I was let go from the school I attended. It might have mysteriously also burned down. I didn't even do anything wrong. Since when is setting things on fire that don't belong to you wrong? Our parents were friends, so they recommended that Kana join me as I was doing well. Kana toyed with a chopstick as we each worked through the box lunches. Then they both sank into the floor. Ah! Uh, well, let's, let's, let's ask her. Because, you know, that counts as keeping an eye on her, but still being, you know, Yumi's partner, still being friends with Haruka, and not really making a scene. Plus, we're getting free food for Maiko, so it all works out. Why'd you get kicked out? Yeah, why'd you get kicked out? They found out I'd been attending therapy. Her jaw tightened around her words and her head twitched subtly. I didn't do anything bad either. I was just seeing someone about some stuff. Shouldn't get kicked out just for asking for help. You know, you are extremely correct. That'd be some grade A bullshit if that happened to me or someone I cared about. Or anyone in general, I guess. It's bullshit. It certainly is, I agree. Kana, it is though. That school sucked anyway. Everyone was so stuck up. But I joined a class in year 11 and I knew no one. Just Aiko. I made like two other friends, but even then, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to get out of the school and learn psychology and help people. Make sure people can get help. Aiko cleared her throat softly and sent us each a smile. We ate in easy silence for a while with the occasional comment about the quality of the food Aiko had brought. But I felt the question chew at my brain. I was chewing on food, and questions were chewing on my brain. 
everything was chewing on something. Were either of you there for the fire? You don't have to answer, but I looked at them both, my elbows set on the edge of the table. I had been there during the week on the same day, but I don't remember the fire. You probably repressed it, er... She blinked before her eyes shut. She reopened them, uncertain for a moment, then focused on me. I don't think we should talk about that. I shrugged a shoulder, my hand raised, conceit, defeat. It's like, eh, I wasn't asking to be rude. But it is rude. That's not why I was asking. I have other ways of being rude, thank you very much. Butthole. We aren't here to be interrogated, even if you had good intentions. We deserve better than that. We went through a lot. The unflinching eye contact was enough to push my gaze away. So I, I looked at Kana, unsure why we should, why she'd slid into such a defensive stance. She alternated between sweet and strict rapidly. Her voice sounded off, unlike the girl who had spoken earlier. The bell sounded, and lunch ended. Aiko and Kana waved and split off for their afternoon classes. Okay, that was weird. It was almost like she'd, like... Her, her persona shifted. I'm having some theories develop in my brain noodle noggin. Haruka and I walked home after school, as we normally did. In truth, I was surprised that Isla hadn't come up to see me about Kana. She had practically chased me down over that yesterday. Finished up my history paper and a few pages of my math homework. I was thankful science had been so slack, with no specific homework given as of yet. We had that class tomorrow, so no doubt that could change. Ah, the group chat. For a split second even, I was like, the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Just like any other message I get. Oh, or not? Have you talked to Kana yet? No, not yet. I didn't feel comfortable asking her about it. What do you mean? I saw Yumi for a bit and then had lunch with Aiko and Kana. Even after I told you that you need to spend time with Kana? Yeah, I just did to- Oh god, I just realized that the clock on here says it's 3 a.m. Yeesh. I don't know what, who you think you are telling me who I spend my time with, lady. Don't be so selfish, it's for the safety of the school. I'm, I'm doing whatever I want. That's Is that so selfish to do whatever I want? If doing whatever you want is selfish, then she whiz. I'm not going to pry into her traumas for no reason. If it really mattered to you, you'd go spend time with Kana yourself. She wouldn't be at the school if it was that big of a danger. I don't get why you're acting like she's the victim. And maybe she is? She's the one who hears voices and got kicked out of a private school for it. But she failed to mention that. She thinks she's a bunch of people at once. Isn't that insane? You don't even care about the girl she killed through her mental breakdown. Hmm. She was shifting. It did say earlier she was shifting almost like, almost like different personalities. So, because she was really defensive, and then she was really sweet, and then she was really defensive. But being mentally ill doesn't make you a killer, or wait, she hears voices? Now I know, for a fact, that being mentally ill doesn't make you a killer. But I am interested in what Dandleton would be like, wait, she hears voices? So... Just for the sake of entertainment, I'm going to click this. Even though I know fully well that being mentally ill doesn't make you a killer, that is absolutely true because I have never killed anybody. She hears voices? Yep, she thinks she's out of a horror movie or something. She thinks she's some girl who got chased by a psychopath with a knife and another girl who got drowned. She's alive, so how do you figure that? Look, Isla, I'm going to bed. As you can see, clearly... Well, not so clearly because it's gray on gray. It's 3 a.m. Drop this. Why is Isla so desperate to prove to Kana did something wrong? What does it change? Who set the fire? I know it's important to work out who did it, but if one of the girls started the fire, they almost died in it. So why would they do such a thing? Unless they didn't want to survive it. Oh. That, that'd be bad. Don't do that. Do you believe you're smarter than an artificial intelligence? Well... I am being asked this question by an artificial intelligence, so it seems like a bit of a loaded question, but I feel like I have access to much more human error than artificial intelligence, which would make me come off as dumber than artificial intelligence. So I don't think I'm as smart as artificial intelligence, so I'm going to say new. No. 
Do you think you are above cybernetic enhancement? Uh, what, like getting robot limbs? Oh, I am not above that. I'll, I'm totally down with that. I'm not a... Uh, there you go. Alright, there's the answers to your oddly ominous questions. I'm just going to call it there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you think you're smarter than artificial intelligence, you leave a comment below and you you tell me. Surprise me with a random fact about something. I don't know. Uh, but if you want to hang out with me some more, we can talk about random facts. We can talk about robot limbs. We can talk about artificial intelligence. We can do all of that over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash play where I play games live. And it's a fun, good time. You should check it out. It's fun. It's a good time. Nailed it. Anyway, thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay.